Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. Um, and then, you know, the last interview question I wanted to quickly cover would be if you get asked something like, um, you know, what kind of things could you do to increase the availability of our organization? Um, in terms of, of power or connections or something like that, you should have a response for that, right? So if we talk about power, uh, that means we want to make sure we're setting up our, our, our server room and our data center by having the server. We have UPSs inside the rack that provides power to those servers, but that mm -hmm. usually lasts between 15 and 30 minutes. In addition to that, you may have a entire rack that serves as a large UPS or battery backup for all the racks in that side. In addition to that, you also would have things like a diesel generator uh, or a propane generator that can take the load if you lose power. And so really your, your ups and your battery backups are there to cover the transition time. Because if you've never dealt with generators before, and a lot of people in our audience probably never had to deal with a generator, if you lose power, it takes about 60 to 65, uh, 60 to 90 seconds for that generator to turn on, spin up, get up to speed, and be ready mm -hmm. to produce power at 60 hertz that your servers need. And so you need something to cover that. Otherwise, your servers will drop and then they'll all come back up and you don't want that happening either. And that's why mm -hmm. we have these battery backups initially and then we right. switch over to the generator for a second. And it's not just an availability issue, the fact that you know your servers could all drop for you know 90 seconds. Uh, a sudden power uh, loss can damage uh, very expensive uh, you know, computer equipment if you have your own data center. And so you could actually have the power restore and have some of these really expensive servers not spin back up again because yeah. some component on a motherboard fried or a, um, or a hard drive controller is, is dead forever. So um, it's a big deal. Yeah, and even if it doesn't fry the actual components, um, if you're using a Unix or a Linux system, for instance, or even a Windows system, when you lose power like that and you instantly shut off the computer, it then has to run through check disk to recover all the files and put them back in order because things were open when you shut it down. And that can take 30 to 60 minutes for it to run through check disk on a mm -hmm. several terabyte disk. And so that 90 second outage now just turned into an hour outage because you're waiting for check disk to finish before the server comes back online. So all those are things you need to think about as well. Right. And then the, the other thing is that, you know, when power drops like that, it does cause power spikes when it returns. And so that can also fry your equipment. Um, this is a big problem we have in Puerto Rico. There are, I, I can't count the number of people whose air conditioners and refrigerators and things like that, the TVs have gotten fried because when the power is restored, you see this spike. And if they don't have a whole house surge protector, it can yeah. destroy the equipment inside the house as well. And then when it comes to network availability, you know, networks is a little bit easier to have multiple connections on. So you can have a router uh, at your edge of your network that has multiple connections. Uh, for instance, in my office, we have a cable link from the cable company. We have a, um, a microwave link from a microwave fixed wireless provider. And then we have a cellular backup as well. So if the cable goes down, we switch to microwave. If microwave goes down, we switch to cellular. And each one is a little bit slower than the last, but we can still survive and keep working. And that's the idea of having redundant network connections across your network with the staff can use. Right.